Yeah, yeah, we do charge a little bit more money, but, but we, we do really good work. I mean, uh, we always try to, to serve our clients. And do, maybe, do you want me to send you e an email on that, uh, like to follow up, maybe t touch base like three, three months from now? Is that okay? No, that's not what a closer should sound like. So how do you develop confidence in sales? Listen to me, I've been doing sales and marketing for over like 14, 15 years now. I've been doing this a long time. I've trained thousands and thousands of students worldwide, turning them from sales rookie to professional closer, from uncertainty to certainty, from no confidence to unstoppable. Every single thing that I do, every single thing that I teach, I learn from experience. When you are doing this for as long as I have, when every single day I am training, coaching, and working with closers, you don't need to be a rocket scientist to figure out, you know what, there's some stuff that works, and there's some stuff that definitely doesn't work, right? It's not that I'm so special that I'm genius. Today, I'm going to share with you the number one thing that you can do to develop more confidence in sales. You see, most salespeople, they believe in this nonsense that if they just think positively, nothing bad would happen to them. That if they go into a sales meeting, they go on a sales call and they are positive and everything will be fine. Well, it's like believing the idea if you are positive and you go into a boxing ring without preparation, you won't get knocked out. It's as stupid as that. You see, when it comes to closing, when it comes to sales, I don't believe in positive thinking. I believe in the positive power of negative preparation. What it means is, I want you to think of that as like a chess game. That when you're going into play a chess game, what differentiate a, an amateur chess player versus a master chess player is what? The master chess player knows 10 steps ahead. That's what makes that person a master chess player. What you want to do as a closer, as a salesperson, is going into every single situation, every single sales conversation, be well prepared. So you know every single objection that your prospect might have, and you will know exactly how to handle it. And that's how you get confidence. You see, lack of confidence comes from lack of preparation. What you want to do is you want to practice. You want to practice and role play until you're sick and tired of it. And then guess what? You practice some more. And that's what I do. When students come into my high ticket closer program, I set up this global platform. And now we have students in over 100 countries. I set up this platform for you to role play. When you join our community, click on the link somewhere on here that you can role play with because we have students all over the world. It doesn't matter if it's 6 a.m. in the morning, it's 2 a.m. at night. You can jump on our platform and you can role play with all kinds of people, all kinds of students, all kinds of background, personality type. And that's how you get good. You practice, you role play until you're sick and tired of it, until you are dreaming you're role playing. You can do this fucking thing in your sleep. Then when you go into a real life scenario, when you're closing, guess what? You're fully prepared. Let me give you a perfect example. When I'm closing from the platform, I over prepare. What do I mean by that? There are a number of things that I do. The first thing that I do, I would visit the venue ahead of time. The night before what I would do, let's say I am speaking at a multi-day event and I know there are other speakers in front of me. And if I'm making an offer on stage, what I would do is I want to know who is speaking before me. What were they selling? What were they pitching? I want to know the offer. I want to know the price point. I want to know the stories because I go after them. I want to be fully prepared. That's number one. Second thing, I would go before I go on stage, I would visually go touch every single chair so I can make connection with the audience, like a mental connection. I would do that. Number three, before I even go on stage, an hour before I would send my staff, I want them to, to eavesdrop. I want them to talk to people. What is the temperature of the room? Is the audience excited? Are they cold? Are they skeptical? Are they warm? I want to know what kind of conversations are they having? What kind of conversations are they having in the bathroom? I want to know the temperature of the room. And before, just the night before, I would rehearse and practice my sales presentation five to 10 times. 
until I am sick and tired of it and I practice some more. And when I'm done after the presentation, one thing I like to do is after I do the close, after I drive the people to the back of the room to buy right now, I would stick around and I am still closing, talking to people one-on-one -on -one, or we assure the prospects who have bought. So it's before, during, and after. And that's what I do. I don't believe in positive thinking. I believe in the positive power of negative preparation. And that's how you get confidence in sales.